Get ready for a classroom comedy caper starring the one and only Little Johnny. In Mrs. Smith's quirky quiz session, she throws a curveball question. Who stole the pears from the tree in my garden? But hold on to your seats, because Little Johnny's lightning fast wit is about to take center stage, turning an innocent question into a side-splitting saga of an unexpected punchline. But first, here is a little bit of history. Little Johnny, the legendary mischief maker of joke lore, is said to have emerged from the depths of childhood imagination, armed with a limitless arsenal of wit and absurdity. Some say he was forged in the fires of playground banter, while others claim he was born from the chaos of family dinners gone awry. Regardless of his origins, Little Johnny quickly became the undisputed king of comedy calamity, leaving a trail of laughter and incredulity in his wake. Legend has it that Little Johnny's antics were so legendary, they transcended mere mortal storytelling and became the stuff of comedic legend. Tales of his exploits spread far and wide, whispered with laughter in classrooms, passed down through generations like treasured heirlooms of hilarity. With each joke and anecdote, Little Johnny's legend grew, his name forever etched into the annals of humor as the pint-sized prankster with a heart of gold and a mind of mischief. To this day, his legacy lives on, inspiring laughter and reminding us all that sometimes the greatest joys in life come from embracing the absurdity of it all. So, here's to you, little Johnny, wherever you may be, still making the world laugh one punchline at a time. Your antics may be fictional, but the laughter you bring is very, very real. Cheers to the legend of Little Johnny. Now get ready to hold on to your sides and your snacks tight because we're about to dive into a joke so funny, your tummy might just rumble with laughter. Little Johnny's teacher, Mrs. Smith, known for her love of quirky questions, poses one to Little Johnny. Suspecting Little Johnny of stealing pears from the tree in her garden, she pointed at the boy sitting right at the back of the class. Johnny, she asked, do you know what happened to the pears in my garden? Little Johnny, always ready with a quick wit, normally being like a jack-in-the-box, quietly declares, Ma'am, can you please speak up? I can't hear you in the back of the class. Mrs. Smith, unimpressed by Johnny's enthusiasm, once again asked the question, Johnny, do you know what happened to the pears in my garden? Johnny again responded with, Ma'am, can you please speak up? I can't hear you in the back of the class. This obviously sounded like an acknowledgement of guilt by little Johnny, even though not to the word. Mrs. Smith had a solution to the problem which she knew would make little Johnny acknowledge guild, so she proposed. Johnny, why don't you come to the front of the class and I will move to your seat at the back. You can then ask me a question and I can then decide if it's possible to hear the question in the back of the class. This will put Johnny out of action on the missing pairs from the tree question. So, the two of them swapped positions, and now it was little Johnny's turn to ask the question. With Mrs. Smith at the back of the class, she gave the signal for Johnny to ask the question why she quietly observe. At this stage, obviously, you could hear a needle drop in the classroom. Little Johnny question took a lot of his classmates by surprise. When my mommy was away from home last weekend, visiting Granny. A lady visited my daddy and made love to him. Do you know who that lady was? Mrs. Smith's response was immediate. Johnny, this time you were right. I can hear nothing at the back of the class. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>